Hello there, it's good to have you join us on Nap Tip on the Move. I'm Angela Agwegi. Preventing human trafficking is an onerous task that requires the collective effort of all stakeholders, including the general public. On this episode, we'll bring you Nap Tip's preventive efforts with the road transport sector. Our feature will tell you more. Stay with Nap Tip on the Move. The saying that prevention is better than cure is indeed apt. And this is why preventing human trafficking is a major concern for NAPTIP. In its prevention efforts, NAPTIP collaborates with diverse stakeholders, including educational institutions, traditional institutions, security agencies, faith-based organizations, law enforcement agencies, civil society organizations, development partners, and most recently, road transport companies. In the definition of trafficking, we talk about the act of trafficking as part of the elements. We talk of the means and the purpose. And when we talk about the act of trafficking, we are talking about the recruitment. We are talking about transportation. We are talking about the harboring and so many other things coming into that. Looking at the issue of transportation, we know that for you to move from one point to the other, you must go through a means of transportation. It could be by air, by sea, or by land. And that is why, for some time now, we have been zeroing in you know, on this uh, transportation aspect to see how we can cut off that link. Because we realize over the period that if we are able to raise the consciousness of transporters and those who work within the transport sector, making them to understand what this uh, problem is and how knowingly or knowingly they are also encouraging trafficking. If they get to know some of these things, how people are using them for trafficking and how unknowingly they are also encouraging them. So they will be able to now do better in what they are doing. And how do we do this? What we do is to go to their terminals, go to their offices, sensitize the drivers, sensitize the, all the people that work within that sector on the issues of human trafficking. And one of the things that we have done in this is to engage with some transport companies. The NAPTIP On The Move Road Transport Sensitization is in collaboration with the ARC Group. ARC is the technical implementing partner for the program. Uh, the donor is the Canadian government. And ARC is a development company. 
and we've been operating since 2008 and we deliver research and programmatic interventions in a variety of countries uh, spanning the Middle East, uh, Europe, Western Europe, Eastern Europe um, and Africa. We've been working in Nigeria for the past few years. Uh, we're working with NAPTIP uh, and on behalf of Canada. So the donor in this project is the Canadian government and we've been very, very lucky to work with a donor that's truly committed to Nigeria um, and to the cause of ending human trafficking. But human trafficking is an issue that gets right at your soul. Um, and so we're very interested in helping to work with and capacitate partners like NAPTIP in this case to do their work more efficiently and more effectively. Um, and I think we've been very lucky in our partnership with NAPTIP to find a partner and to find colleagues that are genuinely passionate, work tirelessly and diligently to fight against human trafficking. NAPTIP engaged with three transport companies for the pilot phase of the road transport sensitization project. We had to identify three transport companies that apply the Nigeria Bender Republic corridors because on this we are looking at the international trafficking. Those vehicles that move people through Bender Republic to other parts of West Africa. So what we did was we identified the ABC Transport Company we identified the GUO transport company as well as the cross-country transport company. And right now, it is instructive to know that we have done the awareness creation with the drivers of ABC transport company. We have also done that with the GUO transport company. And on the verge of dealing with that of the cross-country uh, transport company. We organize with the management of those transport companies workshops where these drivers come together to listen to us, listen to us and understand what we mean by trafficking, understand the indicators and use that opportunity to listen to them on how we can also do it better. We give them reflective jackets that are branded in the name of NAPTIP. We give them roller banners. We give them stickers. We give them flyers on all talking about human trafficking, irregular migration, and how they can identify this. The project yielded fruitful results. It was wonderful. Um, human trafficking is a crime that is clandestine in nature. And it is important that everybody, all the members of the Nigerian society, understands how terrible and how secretive traffickers are. So in this project, we decided to go to transport companies, because most times we find out that they are the ones that carry these victims both internally and also externally. And we conducted sensitization for their drivers and members of their staff. And the, the, the feedback we got was wonderful. They told us that even though they have heard about human trafficking, but the sensitization opened their eyes to how traffickers work. And the, the profiling of traffickers and also the profiling of victims, the identification, things they can see and identify a suspect and things that they will see and be able to identify victims. And they were very, very happy about the sensitization. The bus project is really a good one because we started getting calls telling us to come and rescue victims telling us of suspicious uh, characters around the, the various bus companies and our command in Lagos and some in the southern uh, uh, parts of the country and also from the 
the central part of the country started getting more calls and we were able to save a certain number of victims. We have uh, trained not less than 550 drivers of uh, the GUO and the ABC Transport Company and with the success that we have gotten from that we are trying to also move it further by engaging more drivers food vendors in such terminals the cashiers of such company in fact any everybody that works within that sector so that we are all on the same page one gain that we made during this uh, project was the fact that we were receiving lots of calls at our call center from drivers of these companies who saw things which they suspected were looking towards what we were training them about on and they were making these reports and we are following up with all of this. So we are able to raise the consciousness of the drivers, consciousness of the management of these companies. And that is why for us, we see it, even though it was a pilot project, we see it as a success. And that is why we want to expand it further. Apart from these ones I mentioned, in those companies, we are trying to expand to other similar companies. For the ARC Group, partnership with NAPTIP is worthwhile. What was interesting about the first phase of this project was that it focused very much on the road workers. So the reality is like these bus drivers, the kiosk ticket vendors, uh, the food vendors, they're really on the front line of the trafficking routes for a lot of people, particularly in Nigeria, whether it's internal or international trafficking and that there had been interventions as a result of the campaign. So yeah, I think it was very successful and NAPTIP are an amazing partner. Um, we've been really lucky with the people that we've come into contact with. Um, the Director General is absolutely fantastic um, and we've been very fortunate to work with other engaged, intelligent, diligent, passionate members of staff from the directors down to the project managers um, and the project officers. They're really fantastic and Nigeria is very lucky to have them. With the successes recorded in the road transport sensitization project, the Government of Canada and its implementing partner, the ARC Group and NAPTIP, recently held a joint press conference to announce further and sustained support to the agency. The Canadian government has for long supported the efforts of the government of Nigeria and has recently supported several strategic interventions targeted at controlling the scourge of human trafficking in Nigeria. One of such strategic intervention is the 2018 and 2021 project. We supported the co-development of the NAPTIP strategic communication policy, the training of NAPTIP officers, on result-oriented and impactful communication strategies, data collection and analysis on trafficking and presence and smuggling of migrants, and the conceptualization and implementation of the NAPTIP on the move against trafficking and presence road campaign. We are here for the symbolic presentation of yet another collaborative effort, which builds on the 2021 project that will scale efforts in stemming the tide of trafficking and presence and migrant smuggling through an intentional and strategic partnership with the Canadian government and implemented by the ARC Group, our technical partners. Human trafficking remains one of the most serious human rights violations and the world's second most profitable criminal enterprise. In 2022, NAPTIP received 1,440 reported cases of trafficking in persons. 412 external trafficking cases and 1,028 internal trafficking cases. 2,743 victims were rescued in collaboration with other sister law enforcement agencies. Victims of inward trafficking were 45, that is victim trafficked into Nigeria. Returned victims from abroad were 251. 
and intercepted victims were 1,484. Most of these victims are trafficked by road through our borders all across the country. We also secured 80 convictions in 2022, 45 males and 35 females. And cumulatively, the agency has secured 592 convictions. The DG NAPTIP, Professor Fatima Waziri Azi, also highlighted other areas of support. The Trafficking in Persons Prohibition Enforcement and Administration Act of 2015 is currently undergoing amendment at the National Assembly to incorporate current trends in human trafficking and provide for stiffer penalties. What these trends show is the enormity of what we face as a people and as a country, which is why this project is specifically designed to progressively tackle human trafficking. We expect activities under this project to be impactful, and they include redesigning and redeveloping the NAPTIP iReporter mobile app, a tool for reporting cases of human trafficking, child labor, and violence against persons crimes. There will be offline community-based sensitization campaigns in endemic parts of the country, capacity building for NAPTIP public enlightenment and public relations offices will be organized. We will have an expansion of the first phase of the NAPTIP on the move against trafficking and persons road campaign. The project will support the ongoing NAPTIP on the move weekly television program, which currently airs every Friday on NTA DSTV channel 251. This partnership will enable Nigeria to keep pace with an accelerated world and also set the pace for other nations to follow in this global fight against human trafficking. This partnership with the Ghanaian government is valuable in supporting our efforts to succeed. James Christoph, the Canadian High Commissioner to Nigeria, spoke on the partnership with NAPTIP. The government of Canada works dil uh, diligently with both domestic law enforcement agencies and international partners, as well as with uh, source and transit uh, countries to combat criminal trafficking organizations that prey on the desperation and vulnerability of others. In Nigeria specifically, through the support uh, to ARC, and I recognize their presence here this morning, uh, we are working closely with NAPTIP as well as international partners to not only detect, uh, deter, and dismantle human trafficking networks operating in this country, but also to prevent these crimes from happening in the first place. This includes providing funding uh, to the ARC Group DMCC's project to provide training and capacity building to NAPTIP in the field of migration, um, strategic communications, to tackle the challenge of modern slavery and human trafficking. Through our partnership with Nigeria on these initiatives, we can jointly tackle the challenge of transnational criminal networks that look to prey on vulnerable populations through the smuggling of migrants or the trafficking in persons. Uh, we can only win this fight through collaboration. And I know um, we've had a very good partnership um, on this issue. It's one we're quite proud of and very happy to support. Uh, it's an issue that um, I know uh, impacts us all emotionally. There's a lot of people we don't see on this issue. And it's, it's those people we don't see, we hope to help. And maybe quietly in some ways we impact people's lives uh, to the benefit of it. And we'll continue to do that. Again, what a privilege it is for the government of Canada to collaborate uh, with NAPTIP and ARC in, in bringing change to an issue that has, uh, unfortunately, uh, touches so many. The briefing, which was interactive with questions and comments from journalists, ended with remarks from Sophia Warby, head of communications of the ARC Group. NAPTIP's partnership with the Government of Canada and its implementing partner, the ARC Group, is one that will greatly enhance the fight against human trafficking in Nigeria. Indeed, collaboration is key in ensuring success. Our event segment is up next. Keep watching.
The senior justice advisor with the International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Office of the United States Embassy in Nigeria, Michelle Washington, recently paid a courtesy visit to the Director General of NABTIP, Professor Fatima Waziri Azi. Speaking on the purpose of the visit, Michelle Washington highlighted the need to collaborate with NABTIP to ensure justice for trafficked victims. Receiving the team, the Director General of NABTIP briefed them on the mandate of the agency, operational structure, activities and achievements made so far. She then assured the advisor of the agency's collaboration. The High Court in Sokoto State, presided over by Honorable Justice Isa Mohamed Bargaja, has sentenced Wan Seidu Abubakar Baba, also known as Laba, to one year imprisonment for the sexual exploitation of a 15-year-old girl, an offense punishable under Section 16, Subsection 1, of the Trafficking in Persons, Prohibition, Enforcement and Administration Act 2015. The Federal High Court, presided over by Honorable Justice Morin Adobi Onyetenu, has sentenced Ubong Edit Isien to five years imprisonment with a fine of 500,000 naira and also another sum of 500,000 naira as compensation to the victim. The defendant, Ubong Edit Isien, was convicted of the sexual exploitation of an 11 year old girl. NAPTIP has intensified its prosecution efforts to serve as a deterrent. In fulfillment of Section 23 and 24 of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015, which stipulates punishment for individuals and state actors on political violence, the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, for the very first time, deployed officers to the six area councils of the Federal Capital Territory to educate and sensitize voters on political violence. NAPTIP officers handed out information, education and communication materials to voters and also pasted posters in strategic areas. Leader of the Abuja Municipal Area Council, Zakaria Dauda, spoke on the exercise. NAPTIP as a law enforcement agency is actually carrying out an observer status. So as an agency, we are here to you know, observe the election. We've covered quite a number of polling units just to observe and see how peaceful it is and to see whether there are you know, hitches here and there. Our work will take the entire AMAC. AMAC has 1,401 polling units. NAPTIP is leaving no stone unturned in ensuring that all the provisions of the VAP Act 2015 are effectively implemented. Honorable, this snap too much. Oh, oh yeah. Make on a bit crazy. Come out for him, buddy. Ah! Ah! The oh, Violence God. Against oh, Persons God. Prohibition Act 2015 oh, don't talk who say to carry dangerous weapon or send thugs or any use of power and by force to take certain political matter. Now, serious offense, so oh, we fit land you four years imprisonment for government to work away cause brigade. Now, four years imprisonment. And for those with the supporters club unko na two years for prison. We no go agree, oh, we no go agree. Political violence, we no go agree. If you na see any political violence for FCT, I beg make una wrong go nap tip to report or call 070 300 0203 or 627 for people where they use MTN. Na nap tip and Center for Democracy and Development CDD bring una this message. Oh. It's that time when we bring you an account of a victim. It's Snap Tip on the Move. One day I was in the village, my brother and I came and carried me and took me to my auntie's place. She now said she's taking me to the Abuja. Then from there, she now took me to the Abuja. Then when I start talking, she now said she will take me to school. Then one day she now sent me to go to market and buy fish for her. And I come back, she now sent me inside the kitchen to bring rubber for her. One orange rubber, and I said, I don't see the rubber. She now, from there, she now start beating me. One day, she now sent me to, to buy minerals for her. And I bought the minerals, she now put it inside the fridge. She says, it's remaining one. I tell her there's not any one that's remaining, because minerals is complete six. Then she now, Tie me up and beat me. 
went out down the street that I was in the kitchen. She now is and break my head. She'll be using this snapper wire and be beating me. The one day she and my uncle could not have a fight. The mouth is says me that cost every time. She wanted to use a bottle and break my head. It's me that I run. She enter her house by not at home. She be tying me up. Before I go to school, she will always be beating me in the morning. I will sleep. I will not to sleep like that. She will not come and wake me. It's water that her children use and beat. She will turn my sugar and use it and beat. Food that, that she cook is will start spoiling. She will not turn my sugar and eat it. I will not eat it because the food has start spoiling. The food will be smelling. She will not turn my sugar and eat it. One day, she sent me the night I should bring minerals for her. And I bring the minerals. She drink half of the minerals. She now give me the remainder. I should drop inside the fridge. Then I break. She now say show. It's me that drink the minerals. I should go and pay it. She now raise me up and knock me on the floor. All my brother was playing me. That's the that I said I will never come back to this house. I was going to meet my friend. All my this and I saw me. He now took me to police station. I explained everything. He now took me to Naptip. Naptip asked me and I explained to them. Naptip now took me to shelter from there. And I start eating, getting myself wet and having clothes. I want to thank Naptip for everything that I have done for us, for saving all the children's life. I to say thank you. For more inquiries and support or to report cases of suspected human trafficking, violence against persons and child abuse, please call Naptip hotline. 0703-000203 or the short code 627 or email us info at naptip.gov.ng Visit our website www.naptip.gov.ng Follow us on our social media platforms at Naptip Nigeria or watch our videos on YouTube. Our time is fast spent. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week. I'm Angela Adwigi. See you then.